Our first guest is a fine actor who delivers a remarkable performance portraying Andy Kaufman in the new motion picture, Man on the Moon. It opens December 22nd. Here he is, Jim Carrey. Jim. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> Woo! I don't to get to come here. to the big town very often. <laughs> you haven't I like been here. it down here. You haven't been here in a while. Thank you very much. You've I been like long it. <laughs> Especially that Port Authority. <laughs> you, go, you go over there, do you? It's colorful people there. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I love this place. Yeah. It's a great place at Christmas. It's nice time. to have you here. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Unbelievable. Right? Unbelievable place. <laughs> I've been shopping. You go I'm shopping, huh? I've been out there shopping. Yeah. I've been doing the whole thing, man. It's so great. It's, I actually picked you something up. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I picked you up a little something. No, no, something. no, no. Seriously, you tell, no. tell me, is this just a gag? Is this like a show no, no, thing, no. or is this you really did? No, no, no. I picked you something up. Well, that's very up. nice I know you, you. you're kind of shy about this kind of thing. You don't really like oh, you to get, it wrapped get gifts on the show and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's nicely done, huh? <laughs> gifts on the show. But this is, uh, this is just a little, little something, a little... Little tchotchke. Well, now I feel silly because I didn't really get. No, it's okay. It's wow, okay. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's, it's, wow. a, it's a Fabergé egg. Oh my God, those are. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, it's just a little something, you know. Yeah, I, I can... yeah be careful with it. Oh, did I? Oh my you God, I left a price on there. Oh, oh that's embarrassing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Good. Do you have one of those already? Because I can take it no, back. No, not in that bracket. No. <laughs> I have a couple. You're of so the, hard to buy for. I, you I know? got a couple of the knockoffs from eBay. Listen. <laughs> uh, you, but you raise an interesting <laughs> question when you when you go out shopping. You can't just. You, you, honestly, you can't. You get people that do that. But do you ever do you ever go out? I mean, do, uh, because people would be on you. I would think you just. I'm be... the boy in the plastic bubble. Yeah, that's right. No. <laughs> um, but no disease. <laughs> ever touches me. Now, uh, no, actually, you know, I used to be freaked out about that sort of thing. I used to be, you know, when I first started getting famous, I, I you know, I, I bought into it, the paranoia, the whole thing, and I, and I started thinking, so, you know, my friends said, just go out, have a good time. I want to go to Cirque du Soleil. I want to take my daughter oh, there, yeah, you know, and yeah. they said, just go. It'll be all right. Just get a mustache or something. Get a little disguise or something like that. So I know Hollywood people, you know, I got a mustache. I got a little spirit gum. And, uh, now, what you know, does your daughter make all of this? You're looking at you like, well, what's this? Oh, all she's about? cool with that. She likes she's, this. Yeah, she, daddy's a freak. <laughs> you know? You're being a freak again, huh, dad? <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> no, no, honey, close the window. Hurry. <laughs> close the shades, dear. Um, but. Uh, you know, so I got this mustache, and I applied it, and I had thick glasses. I had, you know, I had a baseball cap, and I kind of thought I was getting away with yeah. it okay. You know, I got inside. Did you, did you look to your eyes? I mean, you're different, of course, but did you look okay when you saw this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a little freaky. Yeah. It's a little freaky, like one of those, you know, talk show guests that did something real bad, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know? <laughs> I need one of those recorders and go, yeah, 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 with my voice and stuff. But, but uh, you know, so I got inside there and I was doing pretty good. And I was, hey, I'm pulling this yeah. off. Maybe this is the way I can live for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I got up to the vendor who's selling all the stuff, mm -hmm. right, at Cirque du Soleil. And I, and, uh, and I kind of had my head down. I, uh, I went, uh, oh, let me see. Um, uh, I'll have a large T-shirt and a small one for my daughter, please. And uh, I waited, uh, and he didn't seem to be doing anything, so I looked up, and he was staring at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> like he'd just seen Jim Carrey in a fake mustache. <laughs> then I started, you know, walking my daughter to the seats, and people were yelling out, Nice mustache, Jim! <laughs> hey, guys, look, it's Jim Carrey in a fake mustache! <laughs> The acrobats were stopping in the middle of routines. Jim Kelly, mustache fakey. Yeah. 
<laughs> make you feel like a boob, doesn't yeah. it? You yeah. don't need that. But now I go, you know, now I just had to You're heck with now. it. Yeah. I, went, I go out now, I go everywhere, you know, depending on, you know, my self-esteem level that day, <laughs> yeah. you know? You don't want to go out on one of those self-loathing yeah, days, you know? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But I just go, I go out and I meet people and it's always cool, you know? Most of the time, you know, there's, every once in a while, there's there's somebody who asks for a little too much, you know. Like, say, what do you mean, like an, more than an autograph? Yeah, well, they'll they'll say something like, you know, uh, you know, uh, hey, wait here, I'm gonna go have some kids, then bring them back to meet you. No. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> you're not doing nothing right. Uh, but, um, or or else, you know, some, something like, oh, Mr. Gary, <laughs> if. My friends would kill me if I ever told them that I met you and I didn't get your underwear. <laughs> Come on! Get those pants off! <laughs> well, how about some skin? A little skin? How about a nose hair? Come on, you got hundreds of them! <laughs> Jerk! Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, we got a, a lot to talk about. Uh, a Man on the Moon, uh, yes. Andy Kaufman, your uh, portrayal of Andy Kaufman. You were a huge supporter of Andy Kaufman, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a kick out of him. Yeah. yeah. Alanis Morissette. Danny DeVito was here last night. Yeah, I know. Uh, in, in, Quit in bragging. Film. And, <laughs> and, and a guy who, uh, who knew uh, Andy Kaufman. Did, did you know Andy Kaufman? You... I didn't know Andy personally, but uh, you, you know. know knew... everything about him now, though. Oh, don't sure, you? Yeah. sure. And, uh, well, does anybody know everything about him, though? No. It's, really. I wanted to put a little thing at the beginning of the film. This is a true story, we think. Yeah. You know? I mean. Uh... The, the film, by the way, is very entertaining. You do, oh, thank you do you. a, a thank great you. job, and, and like I was telling uh, Danny, and I don't know if this is important uh, for an actor or not, but within a matter of of seconds, you really believe you're not watching an actor and you're actually watching the guy. Oh, that's great. And, and, that's I, great. and to your credit, I guess, that's yeah. all part of it. Well, it was so much fun, you know, this this film. I really sunk myself into the characters. Like, a lot of people talking about that, but uh, but uh, I, you know, I wanted it to be like Andy came back to do his own movie right. and create that reality. And it was very strange because Milos Forman, after the first couple of weeks, called me on the weekend and said, Jim. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to these people. <laughs> I have never been intimidated by another man. And I am intimidated by Tony Clifton. <laughs> and I said, well, should we fire him? Um, you know, should, we, should I just come in and do an impression or something? <laughs> Tony, Tony <laughs> Clifton, for a while, uh, it was either Andy doing Tony Clifton right. or Andy's uh, buddy, Bob Zamuda. Bob Zamuda, doing yeah. Tony he Clifton. was on here. He was on here doing it a few times. Yeah. That. That, uh, you didn't even right. know it. No, never knew. Totally where, sucked no. you in. You just didn't know when Andy was on. You just didn't know how far into the woods you were going. <laughs> no, no, but that was, that was the magic of the whole thing, you know, and, and you were in the movie and I appreciate that. Yeah, that was well. that was a great thing for you to do. Yeah. It was great. And that's the weird thing too, you know? And that's the weird thing too, is that people thought that I committed to my character, yeah, but because you, when you were, were Dave here. from the moment you got here <laughs> till the moment you left. I mean, when they said cut, he didn't just stop being Dave. You know what I mean? It was uncanny. That's right. It, it must have been Dave exhausting. In the car all the way. Oh, well, it is. It's tiring being Dave. <laughs> it's wearying. Uh, let's let's take a look at a uh, clip. Uh, you know, it was fun for for me and for everybody who who knew him to kind of just see this thing again because yeah. it really is like looking at old movies, except that it's you know it's a Brand yeah, but he really brand. deserves a tribute, you know, and he never got it while he was here, and I think it's it, it's time. He never right. missed an opportunity to be peculiar. Yeah, yeah. He was, he, absolutely, absolutely. What, what is I don't the, think he could help himself. No. That's the thing, I did all this research, I talked to the family, at friends, everything, and there were a lot of misconceptions about how Andy really was, but after I really delved into the information, I realized that he was a nut job. I mean, <laughs> he was totally insane. <laughs> Pretty much so. And it was, it was yeah, it was, felt good. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, clip. This thing opens December 22nd. Second, I got, yeah, yeah, 22nd. Uh, and and uh, I hope this is a huge film. I mean, I guess nah. it's going to be, isn't it? Well, whatever. I mean, I think it would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it'd be the great. Clip here is. Uh... Uh, I, I really uh, have no idea what oh, the clip is. Oh, come on. It's you know what celluloid. it is. Celluloid. You made the damn movie. What the hell's the clip? It's celluloid. No, I think there was some kind of mix up, so it could be my home movies. I have no idea. <laughs> Well, the staff is usually pretty observant. Let me see what they have to say. <laughs> I'm talking, like, talking to Jim over here, and the idea of a clip just came up. Yeah.
It's, it's the clip of uh, Andy on Saturday Night Live. Andy, oh, well. Andy Kaufman. Yeah, let me set Saturday this up. Okay. This is Andy on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> That's Andy Kaufman Jim Carrey. And the whole movie is like that, and it's a great story, you know? Thank you. Yeah. And it's a nice job. Well, that's the thing. Even the people that didn't know, thank you. Even the people that didn't know Andy, it's a story of a very interesting person. That's right. And an, that's an right. I mean, if, if you knew nothing about him, it's still a very interesting thing. Absolutely. To Absolutely. Uh, if I don't get a chance to see you before the end of the year, happy Happy New Year. And thank you very much. Do you have Thanks. Millennium plans? Are you going to celebrate? Do you, uh, how do I'm you celebrate? I'm pretty much going to, like you know, that? play it by ear. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you an idea. Can I get a countdown? Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, 